Hello, hello! My name's Dan, and today I'm going to be playing some Doom 64. I had never played this before. I mean, I'm a big fan of Doom and old-school Doom, but I always thought this was just another port. But no, it's its own game, uh, completely different from the others. It wasn't developed by the same company as the other Dooms, id Software. No, it was created by Midway, with all new maps and music, and it was kind of always viewed as a, uh, a black sheep and never received critical acclaim. However, in recent years, there's been a resurgence of interest in it, and lots of critics and players are now taking another look at it with fresh eyes. And to be honest, guys, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> like, this is actually a really good game, and it's lots of fun. I decided I was going to play on Watch Me Die difficulty, and immediately we got these guys on the side over here. Now I played around with this a little bit before recording, so I know there's a couple of hidden spots like this one. I think I walked right past some armor. I love this shotgun. It's funny, the shotgun doesn't, uh, there's no reload animation. Look at this pinky. It looks like, uh, the 3D modeling in this looks like, uh, claymation or something. What's behind this door? Oh, there's a lot of bad dudes in here. Every time those doors close, it sounds like someone's shooting a ray gun at me or something. Now, you guys are going to notice I probably miss a lot of stuff. Because, like I said, I haven't played this before. Now, I did see this. Check this out. We can flip this switch and it reveals a little area over here. Check out this chainsaw. It's a double-bladed chainsaw. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Except I don't have any enemies to kill. We're gonna have to find some. Oh yeah, here we go. Let me just take out all these clowns. I think there's a pinky here. I thought I heard a pinky. Yep. Now remember, this is supposed to be the hardest difficulty, but to be honest, it doesn't seem that hard to me. I mean, this is just the first level. Maybe it gets crazy later, and I'm just being naive. I don't know. <laughs> I need some health. Oh boy, look at this. Six health. I'm about to die now, wouldn't that be ironic? <laughs> oh man, if he hits me, I'm dead. Well, alright. Is that it? Now, if you're familiar with Doom games, immediately you probably realized the music is way different. Doom's known for having uh, like heavy metal tunes playing, but this is more of an ambient soundtrack. It's so cool. I had heard about that and I was kind of worried that it wouldn't work very well, but no, this gives the game a very eerie feel. I mean, it sounds very industrial, like we're in a scientific or military facility. It makes it creepier. As far as the story goes, where are we? Are we on Earth or Mars? I don't know. I do know that we got some demons here and we gotta talk to them and convince them that their goals are not compatible with ours. <laughs> okay, now we have the blue key card. There's lots of cool little puzzles and stuff in this game too. Lots of hidden things to find. It's, it's really neat. Thank you. 
Man, I love this shotgun. And I'm surprised at the range on this weapon. Watch this. Look. I'm hitting these guys, and look how far away they are. <laughs> That's crazy. Nowadays, shotguns only work at melee range, it feels like. It's like a shotgun is a melee weapon now. It's really hard to find armor in this level. I've got two armor? Four? That's six. I'm looking to see if there's anything I missed. Oh yeah, there's this switch here. Check this out. You can hit this, then drop down here. Yeah, see, there's a supercharge here. It's like a legit secret. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. You have to fall down and then... You have to fall down and then blow up a barrel that's blocking the way. But of course in doing so, you'll have to take a hit from the explosion. I, I don't know if there's another way around it or not. Now I can pick up that armor that I missed earlier. I'm trying to remember which way to go. Okay, here we are. Okay, now, once I flip this, all these pinkies are gonna show up. Yeah, see? This is terrifying. I love the shotgun, but man, it shoots so slow. That's the problem I'm having right now. Okay, now we can collect these items. One thing I've noticed is I don't take enough advantage of explosive barrels. Like, I need to kite the enemies near the barrels and then shoot and explode them. I don't do that enough. That's what all the best Doom players do. Okay, we got more health here. But it's actually not as much as it looks. That video camera just shows uh, where the supercharge is in case you missed it earlier. Man, these graphics are so good. So when this game came out, everyone agreed that this was uh, the best looking Doom game anyone had ever seen. I mean, the Nintendo 64 was a uh, very powerful console. And look at this. The enemies look amazing. Midway did a, a great job. And also this remastered version, uh, it was made by Night Dive Studios. And they did an amazing job too. Uh, Night Dive does lots of great remasters like Turok, Blood, System Shock, Shadow Man. Okay, so that's the end of the first level. The staging area. I didn't find very many secrets. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was looking. Oh yeah, look at his gloved hand. I'm telling you, these graphics are so well done. Let me take care of these guys. I died, so I had to start over. That's why I'm using the pistol. Whatevs. I'm taking out the trash with his handgun, man. Okay, let's pick up this shotgun and this ammo. There's the yellow door, but we need to find the key card. So the only way to go right now is through this door here. This is a cool looking area. I hope nothing jumps out at us from the darkness. 
Hey, we found a light switch. And here's a mega armor. Of course, as soon as we pick that up, all the enemies start coming out of the woodwork. And we're surrounded. Okay, we found the blue door here. Sounds like... Sounds like there's somebody still over here. Yep. Alright, this is where we find the blue key card. This is a puzzle room. I think that's the last of them. This is a puzzle room, and the question is, how do I reach that card? First, I'm going to walk around and grab everything I see. We got a backpack. I think that's... I think that lets us uh, carry more ammo. Now we can't jump, but we need to find a way to reach the card. Uh, we hit this switch, but then look, it disappears. It tricks you. It's like an illusion or a hologram or something. Now this is a sequence. It's going to keep flashing and reappearing and we have to wait for it to stop. I think it's random where it ends up. Okay, then these doors open with all these switches, but three of them don't do anything. And if you hit them, the walls will crush you. So we have to find the one over here and check this out. We can't reach it in time. We flip the switch and we just can't get over there quick enough. Now I don't know the right way to solve this, but I remembered that in old school games, if you move diagonally, you can uh, actually run faster. So that's what I tried and lo and behold, that worked. Barely. But then all these imps showed up. We gotta take care of them quickly. Yeah, I came back over here, but that's the wrong way. Okay, so I came across this. These are explosive barrels. We gotta be careful. But look, check it out. A chain gun. And suddenly we're ambushed by tons of pinkies. <laughs> this is actually a lot of fun, mowing them down with this uh, minigun. Now we can collect all the ammo laying around. The chain gun is awesome, but yeah, it really eats up bullets. We have to use it sparingly. Okay, this is a new area. We can't really do anything over here right now though. I, I grabbed this berserk and that was a waste because I think you're supposed to wait until you're going to go through the red door before you pick it up. We have to go back left. Am I still berserked? I don't even know. Was there an indication? My god, I'm such a noob. <laughs> Whatever. I switched to the shotgun. Now here's another puzzle, kind of. We have to somehow get across, but if you fall down, the enemies can shoot you from up top. So you have to uh, situate yourself to take them out. I think there's like four or five total up there. Now I don't want to go down that hallway just yet, that's an evil hallway. This will teleport us back up top. We have to get across, guys. So what do we do? Well, we can do the diagonal run thing again. And see? I guess that's the only way to do it. Now over here, there's... There's a secret around here that I'm missing because... Check it out. These guys were guarding these rockets, so where's the rocket launcher? 
I have no idea. <laughs> oh, and these are, uh, what do you call them? Vectors? They're invisible pinkies. So let's take care of them. Yeah, see, this is me looking for a hidden door or a secret room. I did find this. It's another supercharge for my health. And this will come in handy because now we can drop back down and tackle the evil hallway. We gotta be super careful here or we'll get crushed. The blinking light kind of shows us where it's safe to stand, but it's still a pain in the neck. Yeah, no more blinking lights, so I guess that means we're at the end. So here we find the red key card, so now we can go through that red door, remember? I thought I heard an enemy. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and take out these guys. Now we have to traverse this hallway again. I was hoping there would be another way around. It takes off so much health. See, look at that. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, now it's just a matter of taking this teleporter back up here. See what I mean about the music though? I thought it would bug me, but it's kind of cool. It, it just sounds like we're in a, a military installation. Oh boy. See, this is why I should have saved that berserk from earlier. To take out these clowns. Oh yeah, this is kind of confusing. So, we flip this and... Something is happening. We can look out and see those pillars, uh, or columns, are hammering down. We gotta wait for the animation to finish. They're revealing a new pathway for us to take. It's an underground area. So now we can drop down. I was hesitant because I didn't want to get crushed. Here we go. It's like a little bit of a a gauntlet we have to run. It's not too bad though. Okay, this is kind of a tight spot because we're surrounded. Yes, yeah, see, look at the range on this shotgun is crazy. It's awesome. Just give me the shotgun and I'll go through the whole game with it. <laughs> it helps that there's no uh, reload animation. Unless they slowed down the shots to compensate for it. I don't know. That might be worth looking into. Yeah, we've already been here. I'm trying to decide... I was looking to see if there were any power-ups or health packs that I might have missed or something. Whatevs, we need to go through the red door. No, we came out of the red door. Okay, we need to go this way. It 
So now I'm desperate for a med kit. <clears throat> and there's a lot of enemies over here. We gotta be really careful. Or it's gonna be curtains for us. <laughs> God. Is that all of them? Do I even dare to hope? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Finally, a med kit. We saw a switch on the wall back there. I'm just making sure that we've cleared the place out. I bet there's a secret around here that I'm going to miss. If you're watching this video and you're familiar with this game, you're probably cringing at all the secrets I'm missing. <laughs> I probably keep walking right past hidden things. Okay, so there's this. Now this takes us here. Remember this area from a minute ago? We can flip this switch and it doesn't seem to do anything, but when we go back to the other room... See? Look. And now we have the yellow key. This means we can go back to the beginning, but... Oh, but yeah, here's another secret. More rockets. But again, I, I have no idea where the rocket launcher is, guys. I'm sure someone smarter than me has figured it out. I must be stupid or something. <laughs> okay, now we can go through here. We've got to be near the end now, right? Whoa, he almost got me. I think that's it. I don't hear any more bad guys. And here's the exit finally. Okay, and that's the end. The terraformer. Well, it looks like I only found half the secrets. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm just going to leave it here. That's the first two levels. I think there's like 30 total, maybe? But yeah, if this video does well, I'll make a part two. Um, but if not, that's okay. At least now I've got some Doom 64 on my channel. This was a lot of fun for me. I'm going to uh, try to do more full commentary stuff. A lot of folks have been asking for it. I might not post quite as frequently, though. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.